Hey everybody, welcome back to my book chat channel. So this is another book review for Harper, or not Harper, Silver Shamrock Publishing. This one is called Savage Island by Brian Moreland, and we're just going to quickly jump into it. So, very quick and very short book synopsis, and then we'll go from there. On an isolated island in the Philippines, it patiently waits. A mysterious terror lurks in the shadows, stalking the poor stranded souls who visit the island. When a group of four tourists find their vacation quickly turning into a nightmare, the tourists or the terror taunts them and comes for them one by one. The sandy beach and crystal waters of the lagoon will run red with blood if they can't find a way off this savage island. So as I said, very short and sweet and to the point doesn't really reveal too much which is a very nice way to do a synopsis. It kind of gives you a hint as to what the book might be sort of, you know, about, but it doesn't really reveal too much into the details, which is always nice because it gives you a complete mystery going into a story. So I had absolutely no idea what I was walking into when I came to this one. And, you know, it left me pondering for a while when I finished reading it. I actually have come to the conclusion that I did enjoy it maybe not be one that I would reread, but I've come to the conclusion that I did rather enjoy it. Um, it was a little predictable in some cases, but overall I enjoyed the diversity of it. Um, I found the world building of the island and how everything worked was really rather interesting. Um, I think my only criticism, I guess, if you could call it that, is when it comes to stories like this, when you've got, you know, a mysterious island or graveyard or house or building or place or whatever it is, I find that what draws me in more than anything is the why, the how, the history of something. And I found that this one just didn't quite have enough history to it when an island... When an island like this could have so much backstory and so much, you know, history to it, so for me, that was the only thing that was really lacking. Um, I did like the adventure of it. I did like the little bit of drama to it. Um, I actually liked the twist in the end. You know, it didn't exactly end the way that I was expecting. And I definitely liked that for sure. So I'd say this one was a three out of, you know, five stars for me. I really rather enjoyed it for sure. I liked the different parts of it. Um, but again, it's not necessarily one I would reread, but if you really like, you know, a bit of mystery and just a little bit of bloodshed and just the, um, horrors of exploring uninhabited islands in different areas of the world, this one might definitely be up your alley. So I would check it out. And uh, if you decide to pick this one up, I'd love to hear what your thoughts were. So I thank you all so much for tuning in and I will be back soon with another book review. Happy reading.